Hey everybody, Sean James here from Myself Reliance. Welcome to the cabin. I just heard some crashing coming from the ice down on the stream down there. I don't know if it was just because the sun was hitting it and it's starting to settle or if there was an animal um, breaking through as it was crossing over. So Kelly went running down there and I uh, just glanced down there. I didn't see anything, but let's go down and check it out. So last year, not only at this time, but all through it the summer, Kelly wasn't with me most of the time. So when the bears were hanging out around here, especially that one that would just stayed here all day watching me build, and then the mail that came in uh, later in the fall, it wasn't an issue. I didn't care that they were hanging around because Kelly wasn't here with me. Now that she is, she's here full time with me, uh, there's more risk that she's going to encounter wildlife like that. She's an aggressive dog. I'm really surprised. She's very small for uh, for a golden retriever. You would, and she's got a pretty nice personality, but she's very aggressive, surprisingly. So when she heard that sound, she went rushing down there. So what I want to do is get a handle on what wildlife is hanging around here this year and uh, whether I'm going to have to take care of any of it or not or discourage some of those animals from uh, sticking around the cabin here. So I've seen this morning when I got up, there was... Uh, fresh raccoon tracks come right up to the door and they were sniffing around here so that's one animal that she's going to encounter uh, my bigger concern of course is wolves bears coyotes and um, animals like that even moose that are especially down in this stream valley so what i did is i set out four trail cameras down in the valley and i've also got some security cameras down towards the road where i leave my truck so the trail cameras are something i'm going to continue to have around the property for safety, for security reasons, to make sure there's no people that um, come by. I've never seen any evidence of anybody on the property. And also just to keep a, a close watch on the wildlife that's here. Not only for safety, but also, of course, for um, hunting. I, I do want, plan on uh, harvesting as many game animals as legally and ethically responsible to harvest to add to my uh, food supply for the year. So definitely interested in doing that and I'm definitely going to keep an eye on the wildlife here so let's go check those cameras out and see what we've captured So that's what it was. It was just the ice dropping as the uh, water started flowing again and going over the beaver dam here. Good thing is I guess there's a fair bit of water in the in the stream here so I can start collecting my water. I want to get going on that chinking. If not today, then maybe tomorrow when it warms up even a little bit more. It's well above freezing. Right now it's still minus two Celsius, so below 30, around 30 Fahrenheit. But uh, yeah, no wildlife here right now. Let's check those trail cameras though and see what uh, what's on them. See these tracks? Fox tracks, Kelly. Oh, thank you for your help. 